go out on a date. <laughs> no. Off my car then. Wait, this is your car? I'll yeah. take the date. Imagine having to tell your kids that's how y'all met, when she placed your entire worth in the kind of car you drove. But the reason I thought it was okay for me to do was because I thought no one would ever find out about it. Congratulations, you played yourself. I mean, you didn't think that the videos and the thousands of video I guess the thousands of videos that you did, nobody would ever find out about it? Where'd you get that type of logic from? You gotta come up with a better reason than, um, a bold-faced lie. Especially when that's your whole brand now. I have Stupid. come to be more honest about Pun my intended. age. But I'm also 36. Yuck. <laughs> no, just kidding. Do you want kids? <laughs> yeah! Oh, jeez. I think those eggs are scrambled. <laughs> Dang. A a comeback, a reality <laughs> check, and a punchline all crafted into six simple words. <laughs> We're all here laughing at her outburst because acknowledging that she would have walked away in handcuffs if it was a man would be too bitter of a pill to swallow. Hey, what time is it? You know what? I just spent $2,000 on a watch for you, and you're going to ask me what time it is? You did not spend $2,000 on a watch for me. It's in the kitchen. It's called a stove. Dang. The best jokes are the ones that are so creative that they leave you with your jaw on the floor before you start laughing. Man took her out in the second half. No, I use... All right, all Especially right. Especially, like, like, if she look dirty, you gotta put one on. Of course. You know what I'm saying? So okay, my question is, right? Mm hmm Do I look dirty to you? <laughs> she came out there in her PJs. I said, do I look dirty to him? Like, because you know what he just said? He just said he put on some look dirty especially so, so basically asking, you're asking me what if i was the hit would i put that yeah in? sure she asked a question and he gave her an answer and now she's mad because why would he answer her question like that <laughs> drizzle drizzle baby <laughs> And that's on brothers always looking out for each other. Yes, sir. Kyle! Kyle's the smartest kid on the playground, and something tells me he'll go far, far in life. Hey, Zara. Hi. All right, welcome back. Let's call this uh, guy Eddie. You met on one of the apps. You went on a date. You thought everything went really well. Uh, you were hoping to see the guy again, but you haven't heard from him. And you kind of feel, I mean, you're bummed out because you liked him. It was kind of just a lot. And you're let down because you were hoping it was all going to be worth it. And now you're being ghosted and you want to know why. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's call this guy now. Good luck, Zara. All right. Thank you. You're going to need it. Hello. Hi, is this Eddie? Yeah, uh, we're calling on behalf of a woman named Zara. You guys met on uh, one of the apps, and I guess you went out yeah. recently. Wow, this guy's yeah. a matter of fact. Okay, so you remember her then? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember her. So what happened? Because she called us and said she liked you a lot and He's was hoping thrilled. to see you again, and you've ghosted her. I mean, is that true? Did you ghost her? Well, Are you ghosting her? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> okay. tell you exactly what happened. Okay. Um, so we went on a date, and it was great. We were having a good conversation. Great. Um, it comes to around the end of the meal. Uh -huh. Um, I head to the bathroom and I come back and then, uh, the waiter brings the bill and it's a lot more than I thought it was going to, you know, look it over. Um, I call him over and okay. I ask him, Hey, why is my bill so much? And he's like, well, uh, she, while you were in the bathroom added three entrees and an appetizer, um, to, to go. I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, <that, laughs> I said she was odd. hungry. She uh, was a hungry ooh. lady. Yeah. I, mean, I assume she ate, she ate on the date, too, right? Right. Yes, she ate. We had, you know, two appetizers, even, um, right. and a dessert. So, I mean, she was full. She should have um, But it seems like she <laughs> you are full. the phone for her kids. <laughs> and that's what they mean when they say there's two sides to every story. There's her side, where she's the innocent victim, and then there's her side, where she brought it on herself. Why? And she didn't even think to ask. Didn't even think to ask. I just expect you as the man. Once again, these modern women out here with bad behavior, expecting the man to just continue to be consistent and put up with them in whatever foolishness they have going on. Is your decision Mahi or Jade? Dang. And now what's going to happen, Keaton? You're going to be honest. You are going to take your blindfolds off and point to the girl you are more interested in three, two, one. 
Hello. Hey. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> A lose-lose situation. One would complain that he didn't like her personality, and the other would complain he didn't like her looks enough. Man's best bet is to pick someone from the audience. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Move Are you away. kidding? Move no away. You're not even in a car, woman. No. Are you serious? No, no, no. Get, Get out of here. Are you kidding? You're not in a car. Get out! Where? I don't see no car. You're you, just you running just, to a spot right now. Are you me? serious? Are you? You're no, here first. Are you matter. kidding me? You serious right now, woman? On this. Get out of here! You serious, dude? Yeah, you about to move today? How are you gonna stand in a spot right now? Jesus about Christ! To move today. You can't. Dude, I really don't give a standing here. You have no car here. This is a car parking spot, not a woman parking spot. Okay. Idiot. Fucking idiot. Look like something they do. I'm gonna stand here all day. I got time. I got time. Stand nah, here. I don't care, dude. You about to move. Dude. You about all to right, move. Stand there. Cause this car don't back down. You about to move. Yeah, seriously. Dude, seriously, I'm here. I don't care. Yeah. Y'all about to move. You think you could freaking walk into a spot? What do you turn around to the side, front, back? Got a mad look on your face, you're happy, sad? You gonna move. This car gonna make sure of that. Where are you? I'm not being too proud. Which car are you in? Which car are you in? One, two, three, all oh, y'all don't matter. This, ladies and gents, is what happens when you let women get away with a little too much for a little okay. too long. It's called entitlement and it's ugly. Oh, no, I love no. my baby. No, I, I hate her actually. I don't like her. It's me, it's my ex. <laughs> <laughs> Working in tandem. Men, next time they try to scam you into getting her overly expensive flowers, just do what this guy did and pretend you Team didn't work. even know her. Do you know it's out of the number of deaths? Do you know it's an atrocity? Those shoes. They no, were a gift to my great. wife. Mm. <laughs> the real atrocity here is that she thinks a viable comeback is mocking someone's appearance. Ooh. I really thought that we came outside for quality time, that he really brought me outside <laughs> to walk. They really be destroying themselves for stupid reasons. Because he thinks I should lose 50 pounds before we get married. Shit Come on, stupid. like, why are you trying you to make a big stupid. thing about you sound this? Stupid. Like, for real, I'm trying to you make sound sure crazy. you both healthy. You sound I'm trying to but make you're sure not, we're both healthy. But you don't, you don't want to marry me until I lose 50 pounds? That doesn't make sense. We have, listen, I want you to look good in your wedding dress. Like, what's so wrong with that? But we can do that after the wedding. Why is that the only Come thing on, that's man. stopping you? When I you met you, we was not this big. We trying to lose weight. Like, why are you trying to make a big thing about me trying to take my woman, on, my fiance on a walk so we could be able to lose weight? Because Please. I just feel like that shouldn't stop us. Like, we can get married right now. We're financially you know, in the space to do it. Like, why can't we, we do it now? Get, we, gotta, it's gonna, we gotta lose we're, weight. We're like, not, honestly, like, if, you're not fit, if you're not committed to losing weight, then I'm not finna marry you. I will Please. be at some point, just not right now, but I think Come that's on, crazy that gotta, you don't want to marry me. It gotta be before we get married, all right? You gotta lose 50 pounds. You that's why we out here taking a walk you're making a big thing about I need, nothing i need them to see how crazy you sound right uh, now you literally won't marry me he's literally out there with you Walking. that's a man who wants to kick things off the right way <laughs> making sure both of y'all are the healthiest you've ever been maybe Same she me. should start with a healthy mindset first all right now if you guys want to see something truly breathtaking baby girl excuse me real quick Huh. We have the Porsche Cayman huh. S 3.4 liter flat six huh. naturally asked. To be fair, he truly did show us something that's one in a million, that's unlike true. four billion others. That's true. If you got a Michael Kors bag or if you got a Birkin, if you in a Honda or if you in a Bentley, those are not things being put forth by men as requirements. That's y'all competing with each mm -hmm. other. I don't think you're being honest. Men are attracted Can. to a woman that's 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 that. Why them girls not white? All of these girls that they look for on TV, none of them ever got a ring. Everybody trying to emulate and who everybody trying to be, none of them got a stable household. None of them got families with kids and a man and they out in Dubai as a couple. These same chicks that everybody trying to be, be in Dubai by their mother 
himself with the sheiks get pissing on him for 25 grand. True story. The sheiks is making them their kids for 50 grand. You don't see none of those girls with a man and a house. None of them same girls that we all want to be have that lifestyle. So y'all try to find and emulate some that ain't even successful. Men not That's making it. no girl get no BBL. Ever. Chick is making themselves get a BBL to compete with what they think like because it clicks on social media this girl got 77,000 likes on social media this skinny chick over here with a decent body got seven likes she happy in a mother but do you think they do it because of the things they they insecure insecurities are the biggest driving factor men don't want to complicate things they just want a woman who's loyal and loving women want that too well with a guy with a net worth over a million bucks yeah. <laughs> what do you mean lack of intimacy okay so when he feels like he's not making enough money he doesn't want to be intimate Hmm. So with him being out all day, trying to make money, trying to go to the studio and sell beats and doing this, I like dressed up in lingerie and got ready for him to come home. And he kind of just pushed me away. Like, I didn't make my goal today. I didn't make the money that I needed to make. So I'm, I don't feel like it. Have you ever had a bad day? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. At the end of a bad day, do you always feel like being intimate? Yes, that makes the day better. Okay, so I can tell you, a lot of people, when they have a bad day, that's kind of the last thing on their mind is being intimate. But it and wasn't you, a bad day. When you are an entrepreneur, when you eat with your and you don't anything, that's a bad day. Okay, yeah. so if the rent is due, the last thing on my mind is having she set the standard, demands high value, and then has the goal to complain I'm about him to... wanting to meet that standard. I'm well. trying to make sure I got somewhere to do it at. <laughs> You know what I mean? I understand her point, but I'm trying to make sure we got a roof over our heads. That's a woman who doesn't know what she wants. She just wants more of whatever, though. Me and my girlfriend were robbed, and how she acted during makes me want to dump her. Oh my goodness. Two weeks ago, me and my girlfriend were walking home while a little drunk after a party, and we were robbed by an armed mugger. The guy stopped us, pulled out his arm, and told us, give him our stuff. I immediately gave him my wallet and phone. My girlfriend decided to be difficult. I don't know why. She's usually very smart, but this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen her do. So she refused to give him her phone and purse. She decided that the best course of action was to argue with him. She kept yelling at me to do something, which led to the guy keeping a trained on me the entire time. She was doing way too much. Girl. She had no sense of self-preservation and it was very clear she valued her material possessions more than my life. Eventually, I took both from her and gave it to the guy and he ran off. Afterwards, she was pissed at me for keeping us both alive. I grew up in the hood and I have things like this happen more than once. I know the best way to make it out of these situations is just give them your crap so they'll leave. It sucks losing money, but that's a lot better than getting hurt or worse in the streets over a few hundred dollars. Both of our lives are worth more than that, but she doesn't see it that way. Her oh, utter lack right. of desire to keep both of us alive over money is a huge wake-up call to me. How can I trust her to be with me throughout the rest of my life? You gotta get out of there. She's too dangerous for you, your safety, and potentially in the future, your kids' safety. She just throws caution to the wind for material things, apparently, according to this story, why would you want anything like that? Love your life. Love living in a long time. Release her back to the street. Life. That is a crazy story. She's probably not thinking rationally, so it's a little unfair, but I also get where you're coming from. That's a really terrifying situation. A woman who can't stand up for herself isn't allowed to tell you how to be a man. That's just the law. Oh, baby, don't cry. Here you go. That's for you. Oh, there you go. And look, I also got you a fry. Here you go. Ah, uh, see, then? Just like his mama. <laughs> a little fatty. Hey, uh, <laughs> Dang. Do you want some, too? Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> what I see here isn't that she raised Dang. him to have simple pleasures, but she raised him thinking it was okay to whine till he got what he wanted. How old are you? I'm 29. What's the most challenging thing about dating at 29 in Miami? When you have nothing to offer. You are the man. Man, I thought man. she was 35. I feel like men these days, like, you have to, like, pretty much ask them what's their favorite lip gloss because they just want princess treatment. What gives you that idea? They just want you to like chase after them. They want you to like be the one to initiate conversations. I just, there's like no like real men anymore. Should a man not be chased and admired? No, they should be chasing. Okay. What gave you that mentality? <laughs> um, I think maybe my upbringing. Uh, what about it though? A man should be a man, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Is there a difference between pursuing and chasing though? It's like the same thing, yeah. They're like the same thing. So how do you show a man that you value him if he's always chasing you? I'd if I actually this. want him, then I will make the time for him. 
and give him attention. But if he's not giving me that initial attention, then I'm good. She might have been wearing white, but that's a walking red flag right there. Men, exactly. don't worry, the right woman won't criticize you for wanting to be treated better. <sighs> exactly. She'll just treat you better. My man's down. Close. She had us in the first half thinking she actually took care of him. Come to find out, she only takes care of herself. What you, what you, what you looking for? What the f*** you looking for? Why are you grabbing my You got my, my number for business purposes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't... I mean, these women are embarrassing them themselves going on going on these type of shows. Don't do it. And as well as keeping your hands off that man. You don't know him. Not except so you can walk off. Oh. <laughs> looked at him with puppy eyes, and when he said he wasn't interested, she looked at him cross-eyed. So basically, Is the only sense? demographic that shouldn't have a type are men. No, he said for business purposes only. <laughs> Dang, that's cold. You have kids. I'm not having kids. What you mean? Not having kids? I'm not having kids. That's what you want me to do. No, I'm not. Why would you not want to have kids? Why would well, I? I'm asking you. Why don't I want to have kids? I don't see any benefit. For bringing, for giving somebody life. You have a kid, and your life becomes about the kid. I want my life to be about me. Oh, you selfish. That's okay. I have to wonder where this generation's hate towards the idea of having children came from. There's more to life than just partying and clubbing. But I think okay. one of the worst parts about being a man is paying for everything all the time. <laughs> I think that's a pretty big one that I hate. Not only do we have to pay for everything all the time, but we're also not even allowed to complain about it. <laughs> that's quite a move by the feminists. <laughs> Cook. It's good work. Keep you know, cooking. they're going, hey, pay for all of our <laughs> and shut the about it. That's pretty impressive. Women in my life talk about my money like it's nothing. Like, we should go to Miami again. I'm like, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> I'm like, come on, you had fun. We danced. I sucked your. I'm like, yeah, pretty good deal for you. You know, about halfway through the trip, I was like, how about I suck my own and pay for one thing? How about that? That'd be. That'd be wild. You might think, hey, right this now. guy's an asshole, but. <laughs> These jokes aren't for you, ladies. They're for your husbands and boyfriends. You know, they've earned it. <laughs> well, they paid for it. <laughs> uh, that's, there's always some woman after the show. It's like, hey, I pay for all my stuff. I'm like, yeah, you're gross. <laughs> I'm talking about you. Complaining about hot chicks, not you. <laughs> always like some lesbians. We have to pay. Yeah, you have to pay. There's no, you'll be homeless if you don't pay. Equal pay, but not paying equally. Hey. Why did this man go all day yesterday? Not one text, not one phone call, mute, right? He said nothing. Then I get in the car, I'm on my way to work, I check my phone. He wrote me, good morning. Right. Good morning? More like good night. For the life of me, I cannot figure out why men go MIA, they disappear for hours, mm -hmm. sometimes a whole day, 24 hours, and then they just reappear like, hello, like this is some sort of Disney fairy tale princess movie. Uh, ma'am, <laughs> are, are, are you okay? <laughs> Men are busy. Okay. We, we have other things to do besides texting <laughs> and you. calling you all day. <laughs> See, that, that, that's why nobody likes y'all. You're, you're, you're too clingy. She's right. It's crazy to think that some men might actually have jobs and whole lives outside of the women they're seeing. <laughs> Insane. Non-traditional things we do in our relationship. My first one is we pretty much go 50-50 on all domestic labor, but we don't go 50-50 on bills and financial things. So now that we know that he's super provider, man, let's see what his wife... Well, his girlfriend, girlfriend is yeah. packing him for lunch. <laughs> Man, what's cracking, y'all? This is what my girlfriend packing for lunch, day three. And yeah, I got a new job. Who cares? Starting off with an essential bottle of water. We always need our bottle of water. All right. I got some chips, jalapeno. These chips is fire. If you don't know, I just put you on again. We got two beef sticks. I don't know why we got two today, but yeah, I actually like them, so it don't really matter. We got a granola bar and a peach cup. Lastly, we got a PB and J. Okay. And yeah, I like PB and J's because why not? It reminds me of my childhood. 
Oh. Man, I guess this is a good lunch, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, man. Honestly. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Man, I, you know, she probably did that. She's thinking about herself. That would be a, that would be a good lunch for a child. If you pack me like a couple of sandwiches, some chips, maybe like another drink, like something sweet, some sweet tea or something like that, or a Coke or something. I, I see what she was doing. She was trying to. I think this is something that all women do. They'll pack something. He's got his sandwich in case he gets super hungry. He's got his water to be healthy. He's got a couple of snacks. And in case it's the afternoon, he just wants to like chomp on something. Uh, he's got his his sandwich for lunch, you know, just nothing too much. And then his chips for lunch as well. That's something that you would be okay with. That's something that a lot of women would be okay with because it it'll fill them up or it will they'll be satisfied. But for a man, especially if he's a blue collar worker, this man is going to be hungry. You got to pack him an actual lunch. Man, you need to have some sort of meat, some sort of protein somewhere. You playing around with this man. You know, I ain't gonna hate on their relationship too much for what they got going on, but my God, that's if that's all you can come up with. I guess that's a I get that lunch at by the sea. He not gonna go hungry. He gonna have a little something, but by by the afternoon he probably gonna have to buy him a little something from the vending machine. Bro, bro. oh my God, bro, I wish I would be paying all the bills, bro. My <laughs> wife packs me lunch bro that's not lunch bro those are snacks that's bro a snack, that's a kindergartner yeah, meal dog a kindergarten. that's a, that's a and you settling for that oh the meal reminds me of my childhood bro i bet it does bro you're a grown man bro you're 23 and you're paying all the bills for a woman that doesn't have your kids like i said before bro bro i'm trying to help you run you're paying all the bills and you're not getting you're not even getting a hot meal every day shouldn't no meal Reminds you of your childhood, bro, and you're paying all the bills. I think we're forgetting that she packs him things he bought for a work snack, and yeah, then he gets fair. to go home after a ship and do half the chores too. That's some skewed 50 50. Go ahead and log into that account. <laughs> you want to use Cash App? Is that cool? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, what I just seen, she a real one. Are you spending your money on her, though? I don't do that type of Look, my man knows that he's broke, but by walking by her, he's made a conscious decision to not go broker. Didn't I talk to you the other day? Yes, you talked to me the other day. How you doing? Why you keep coming back? Because <laughs> if you don't like I, my content, <laughs> listen, I want to understand no, what she don't want to understand nothing. She don't want to be defeated. She came back probably because she felt like she was defeated. These modern women cannot give up. But I'm just assuming. Let me see what she says. What's the problem? The problem Why is we need more people in our society to lose some weight. Dang. Don't be talking. Big bag, big bag. Yeah, my I don't care. Uh huh. Big bag, big bag. Uh huh. You haven't given me no advice. All you've done is talk smack. I have given you some advice. He told you. What, what advice told have you, you given me? What you need to do so you What can... advice have you given me? Where's your children at right now? Sleeping. To prolong your life, you need to start losing some weight now. Mm -hmm. Okay, Definitely. that's the first piece of In advice. All seriousness. Second yeah. of all, you need to learn how to submit and hush. Stop being sarcastic and all this other stuff you're doing so that you can keep a man at the house. Look at her hair. Look at her hair. Look at her nails. Look, look at her nails. She's got her hair and her nails done. Look at her glasses. It's the aesthetic. I keep on talking about it. It's the aesthetic. Even uh, uh, women that are on the heavier side, I keep on saying it. 
They'll have everything put together on the outside. But on the stuff that actually matters, they'll be losing. And men will say, you look fantastic. You look beautiful. But we got to work on the rest of you. you we got to work on preservation. We got to work on maintaining for the long run. And modern women don't get it. That's why she's sitting up here arguing and going back and forth with him because he hurt her feelings. And now she's trying to figure out a way to get back at him. And all this other stuff you're doing so that you can keep a man at the house. Okay. Okay. Teeth. See, there used teeth. To be a t- beautiful teeth. Beautiful. You know, her face is clean. It's clear. The aesthetic. Time back in the day where the man got the big piece of meat, right? He got the big plate. Now y'all out eating the men. Dang. Y'all plates oh. are bigger than the men. That's, That's a problem. I ain't ever going to get with no woman and her plate is fatter than mine. Are you done? She came back for more because she knew he would be the only man in her life to tell her facts. Too bad he's not into crazy stalkers. Baby reindeer. That's the Toy Story extended release meant for adult eyes only. Girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, man. Uh, get back here. She knew exactly what she was doing. As soon as she saw him coming, she bent down like that. Stay away from these thirsty, clout-chasing demons, fellas. Be you did what you needed to do, sir. You did exactly what you needed to do. Like my man said, stay safe. I'm not looking what you got going on. I'm not looking what you wear, and I'm not looking at your hair. Once again, as you can see, the makeup, the hair, the nails, just everything is immaculate on the outside, but inside, trash. And that's why you in a store trying to pick up men like this. Ignore her. You did a great job. But that's just my opinion. Until the next video, I'm out.